Hello guys, welcome back to another one. Today we are in the historic Staffordshire Moorlands town of Leek. Uh, let's have a look around, they've got a market on. Say a lot of people around. It's good to see nice full stalls like this. It's nice shops around. Yes, lovely, lovely to see nice full stalls in there and people buying off them. It is. It's very good. <laughs> yes, look at that, guys. That's nice, isn't it? Down there, got all the flags, uh, the uh, Union Jack flags. Uh, let's, get, let's, get, let's get that on shot there. Let's get that on shot. Just there for you guys. YouTubing. Oh, that's, uh, that's Samantha. Follow her on all uh, oh, Google, Spotify, iTunes, yeah. Amazon. Yeah, all of it. All, all of it. it. Even the dog. Uh, what a dog. I'll just get the QR code in there for you. you can so get you the can. Dog subscribing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Follow the QR code, guys. There you go. No You're worries. all right. No yeah. no Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Uh, follow. Follow that lady there, guys. Uh, it's good to see people out there doing things like that. Um, yes, but anyway, this is the Roebuck. Um, 1626, that was built in, guys. Um, we have eaten in there, and they do they do a thing called the Leek Burger. I'm not kidding you, guys. That Leek Burger in there is top bollocks. Absolutely gorgeous pub in there. Uh, yeah. Very historical this town is. Um, just want to get a bit of the architecture up there. Manchester and Liverpool District Bank Company Limited. It's a lovely bit of architecture there for you guys. Let me just get a good shot of that. There you go, that's nice, isn't it? Yes. Bustling round here, isn't it? it bustling. Is. Bustling. True says Leek is a nice place to be. And as we follow it down, guys, you can see that there's a lot of cars and a bit of traffic around. Um, I would probably say this would be good if they made it a pedestrian zone only. Maybe that'd be a sort of a modern way to take the town centre. Um, as you can see, you know, you've got to get across quick. You know, you've got all these cars parked here. Um, yes, definitely a, uh, a what's it? A pedestrian zone is needed here if I was uh, being honest. Uh, right pies across there. Oh, love a right yeah. pie. Here we are, guys. Look how much is an house in Leek. Ending. 285,000 for a bungalow. 650. 650,000 pounds there, guys. My God, that's. It's rural, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, some money's worth. Yeah, just over there is right pies, guys. Oh, yes. Uh, a staple of a stokey is a right pie. Uh, I think we will go in what's that called? Gatliff's Yard. Gatliff's Yard, let's do it. <laughs> let's go and have a look what's up here, eh, guys? Oh, it's very nice, isn't it, guys? How many times have I said, guys? I don't know, can't. At least I'm not saying um, um, um all the time. Exactly. Uh, dream catcher. Holistics and gifts. Look at that, guys. Whoa. Ooh, that. Ports. Amethyst. Ports. 640 quid, that is, guys. Uh, yeah, we have a uh, beauty and skin clinic. Uh, own it. Get there, see you. Feeling cosy. And then we just come up and we've got Leak Cafe Bar and Grill just at the end, guys. Uh, so that is uh, what we've got. Um, how are we feeling? Today, 
Pooley Anne. Good, thank you. You're feeling good? Feeling good. Feeling happy? Feeling happy. I love Leek. Yeah, I like Leek too. It's a place we've visited quite a few times. Uh, we always go in the Roebuck and get a Leek burger, don't we? We do. We're not going to do that today, guys, because we're out for different reasons. We're vlogging. We are the vloggers. Vlogging with the goofs. Vlogging with the goofs. <laughs> I'll tell you what's another nice thing to see, guys. Another defibrillator. Um, I like to point them out. Because um, it's good to see them knocking around, isn't it? So if you start having cardiac arrest, you know where there's a defibrillator. Exactly, but yes. You'll be having an heart attack, but you know. <laughs> um, oh God, farm for sale there. £800,000 for that, guys. And as you can see, if I just pan the camera, we can see all the information on screen. Oh dear. Um, and then we're coming up on to a bit more of the market you know what there's not many markets left and it's good to see one um, booming as much as this as you see when we visited Newcastle it was completely dead so there is a market for it but for some reason they just don't like going then into Newcastle uh, if you've seen the Newcastle video I will link it into the end of this video um, if you haven't seen that you need to head over to that and then you can do like a, a compare of what, what the market's like in Newcastle and then what the market is like here um, but look at that there guys Whee! that's nice isn't it it's a lovely uh, I don't know what you call that monument I don't know what it says on it but as you can see it's just coming up to half past 12 um, on what is seems to be a nice Wednesday dinner time lunch time if you're posh all right guys we're just headed up Fountain Street and um, we can see by the by the look of the shops you can see how sort of um, old oldie worldy it is by the look of the buildings what shops you have got you know i mean i bet that off license has been there for years and years and years and um, we've got the cattle market just here so this is the cattle market um looks a very nice pub actually but again if you look at the architecture of the building you look at you know how the state of the building is the cracks the brickwork and stuff you can see the age it looks like a number on there it says 1876 which is brilliant hey oh guys i'm not gonna say it out loud but um you can see there you could sort of read it um no 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 not for me so guys we're just coming up to this church here um, I'm going in on my own because it says no dogs, please. Oi. So you better stay out there. Stay out there. You're not allowed in. Not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, guys. Um, I loves my wife. I really do. You know this. But look, I'm not sure if you can get a shot up there, guys. But look at that. This is a very old church. I'm looking around to see if it's got some form of date on somewhere. I don't actually say what church it is. We're trying to find out. Um, but I can tell you what they do do. And that's Slimmy World. Um, oh, let's just go up here. Look at them. Your Slimming World success starts here. The Boggart! They are, guys. Good, innit? That's really on there. Get in the picture, shall I? <laughs> great isn't it i love stained glass windows i do it's summit that i think a lot of the times churches are forgotten but when you actually go and have a proper look at them in the architecture i mean i think in olden times they just spent that extra bit of money on detail um whereas nowadays they sort of just throw a, a building up, don't they? And don't give a crap about it. Oh, look at that. This is what I'll do, guys, right. 
If I can get one off, hold me the camera. For you, my darling. Who, Susie? No, for you, my Aww, wife. Oh, thank you. Hey, I picked her a rose, guys. Thought you were picking it for Susie then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get that. Whoa, God. I mean, I know it's a church, but that looks a bit scary, doesn't it? Now, these here, these guys, I don't know if you um, know what these are. These are rose hip, and you can make rose hip oil out of them. Um, stuff, it's expensive it? stuff, you can bottle it up and sell it. Um, but yeah, the one they call Julian makes her own rose hip oil. Look at that up there. Whoa. Do you see what I mean? The detail. The detail we forget about. Oh, what's in here? It's in there, guys. Can you see? You tell us. But look, look at the houses, look at the history that must be in there. Look at the, the age. Look, she's with a doll pole, guys. Oi, have you drawn your money? When does your doll come in? I hope you've been and signed on. <laughs> We're only kidding, guys. Julianne gets a bit knocked when I do that. Um, but yes, guys, uh, sometimes I think as we're walking around here some people think you know when you're out videoing and doing stuff like this that you don't go work i've had a few comments go get a job and stuff i'll just like to correct correct cre cre correct that's the word i'll get it out correct um the people that say them sorts of things i go work don't you worry i've got a job um not like it's anybody's not business. like it's anybody's business but i will put that out there for you so guys, uh, we are at um, Staffordshire Police, Leak Police Station. Um, obviously, you know, as part of our videos, I always visit and take a look at the police station. Um, let's see sort of what's going on. If they've got an open uh, sort of reception desk where we can now go and have a look around, where we can go in. Um, uh, it doesn't look like it's open, it looks like you've got the help point again, uh, probation office, uh, let's have a walk up. No, it's not open guys, so we haven't got an open desk in a leak. Um, and, um, which is unusual for police stations is, you can't actually see in the yard, but you might not be able to see in the yard, but I've got a little trick and I've got, I'm on a selfie stick so I'll take a look over like that you know, just because you've got a a gate there doesn't mean I can't have a look guys because um, I have got a selfie stick so I'm not sure if there's a way we can look in it here don't think there is is this a police car and that it's an ambulance in the distance guys um but yeah it doesn't look like there's anybody manning uh, this police station so we're not going to get any form of interaction around here um which is fair enough guys uh, but look here yeah. um 1885 that no, 1815. was 1815 1815 that was erected and it's a good job you're here to correct every word i say <laughs> Um, look at that up there guys, like Spaghetti Junction on the wires. It looks a very old um, sort of setup that does, doesn't it? I'm looking at the top of the little lamppost there with the, all the wires for the phones. Stuff, it looks very... I wouldn't like to be working on that. Hey up, it's a bloody crackhead. I am a cracky. You, yeah, you are the leak cracky for today. Yeah, lovely bit of architecture. Lovely. Oh, I don't know what you can see, guys, because I can't see nothing. But I'm going to go along anyway. Uh, and just see what we can pick up. I'm not sure whether there's another sort of entrance round here. 
Uh, but we'll have a look anyway. We'll have a look. Oh, we've got an open entrance here. Um, little sort of dial thing there uh, for you know you obviously you have to press the button they haven't got a card swipe so you got to put in the digits um please be aware of raised gate stop and um, but anyway guys little shot for you there if some police cars they've got the rural and wildlife crime um and then a normal police car in front of that and a normal one behind that um I assume this is where they park them at night because that's not part of the fire station and I'm pretty sure the fire station would look a bit better than that. Um, uh, marked for parked parking for marked police vehicles only so they have marked cars in here as well. Uh, no, so they are the marked cars so they must have unmarked cars. Correcting myself there guys, correcting myself. Yeah, well that was good how we can see in. So I was thinking we won't be able to get we won't be able to get a shot of any police cars. Um Yeah, I've seen it mate, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. He was just asking me if I need any help. Um no, I'm good, sir. Uh, I'm just videoing uh, around. It doesn't look very don't look like it's a very busy police station. Um so uh we can just get the top of the church in the background which i think is a nice little nice little thing because i reckon anywhere you go and leak you're going to be able to see the nice rooftop of that uh, church which is good i'm assuming he was an officer he's gone back into the station uh, he said to me if you need any help uh, there's a button round at the at the uh, at the uh, entrance but um we don't what would be a help to me is if you had an open reception where I could go in, I could get some information, I could report a crime, but if I press that button, I know they'll only say, well, you know, you're on the phone to 101, even though I'm standing outside of a police station. Um, it makes no sense to me. I don't know why they do that. It's probably uh, cutting costs and things, things like that. Um, they need to open these receptions, in my, my opinion, because um, sometimes it's easier for somebody to report a crime or something like that when they can go and speak to somebody face to face um but yeah uh, that's just my opinion um i wonder he's not gonna he's not dressed in uniform um so i think he's just gonna come out in his normal car hi right, guys we've got the local policing team just there local policing team just there um, PCSOs they were, PCSOs. Hello. I'm pretty sure that's that PCSO that had a go at me. Was it now? Yes. Um, I'm almost 80% sure. Well, the story was, guys, is, so we had a visit over a matter with a family member. Um, that uh, She's with a care company and they were not happy about us visiting this family member. So two P PCSOs, came to us and uh, Julianne went and met him downstairs of our apartments and they backed her in a corner and they were really nasty to her um, that they were two PCSOs and um, we still haven't found out who these PCSOs were they didn't have the body cameras on um, they didn't uh, we didn't sort of get any collar numbers or anything because we were sort of um, we were sort of off guard, uh, so we didn't get any of that information. Now we've put a complaint in to Staffordshire Police and we still haven't got it dealt with. Um, this reception area is closed. The nearest police station is Longton or Burton or Canick. So I would say, how far would you say Longton is from here? Jesus, well, well you've got to go back to ours, which is about well, quite a while. You're, look, you're looking on 20 miles, aren't you? Like so around about to an hour's yeah drive. 20 25 minutes to an hour's drive yes away is so the nearest reception area is longton that's bad isn't it guys what about the people of leak do you know what i mean what about the people of leak um and it just gives you all this information why can't we go in and report some i mean look at that they haven't even picked the mail up 
Do you know what I mean? Look how dirty gold cobwebs and everything. This has been shut for a long time. And all you've got is a button to press. You know, that's a bit, uh, it's a bit shite really, that is, in my opinion. Um, but we couldn't go in there now and go to that reception and say, listen, is that that PCSO? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or we're looking for a PCSO that visited our, our address. We've, we've got no Record. way We've got no record, we, we've got no way of getting in there and speaking to somebody, you've just got to sort of rely on 101. Uh, which is terrible really guys, I think it's absolutely terrible. So guys, as we move back in sort of the centre of Leek again, we see a nice building here, 1894 that was erected. Do you like the way I said erected there? I loved it. Um, a bit, a bit of a naughty word from me there erected nice looking building the architecture is lovely and leak guys you really want to come and visit this place so guys as you can see around leak center there is a hell of a lot of different sort of shops um uh, leak oh leak nail bar Oh, laundrette. You don't see many of them anymore, do you guys? You don't see many laundrettes anymore. Uh, Cafe Delight. See, it's a bustling place. We got the Salvation Army here, guys. Um, try and visit your local charity shop. You will get some bargains in your local charity shop. I can tell you that. Um, I'm not sure what this sort of is it sort of a square would you say um, we've got farm foods there guys um, and in Hanley I don't know if you saw the Hanley video we had a problem with acorn training um, so we're gonna have a look at acorn training again um, have they got any screens on display Yes, yeah, so I can see the screens there. So clearly the memo about uh, uh, the GDPR and stuff has not got through to this place. I know the screens aren't on, but if they were, I would be able to see them. And we're in a public place, guys. So, you know, I can see that with my eyes. Um, but it doesn't look like anybody is sort of in there. Um, so they're not doing much business in Lee Carly, really. Not doing much training. So guys, this is um, the MP's office. Uh, Karen Bradley, MP, working hard for Staffordshire Moorlands. Um, yes, so look at that. We've recruited 332 new police officers in Staffordshire. Um, and probably 200 of them are corrupt bastards. Um, guys, the reason why I say that is because there is a hell of a lot of corrupt police in the system and that's why everybody needs to video them because I tell you now, don't rely on their body camera systems because I tell you now, they'll go missing. Record it for yourself. Don't rely on the police keeping the body cam footage because I bet you they won't. But anyway, I'm not familiar with this MP so I'm not going to give you, like on the other videos, I've said they're a twat and stuff like this. Um, but I can show you a picture of Karen Bradley, which is there. Um, the office is currently closed, so we can't go in and speak to her and ask her um, what she's doing for Leek or Staffordshire. So there we go. Well, guys, we're outside the old police station. Um, look at it. Look how the police. Look how the police used to be. That was built in. 1891 you right, boss? <laughs> he had a funny look at me I'm, I'm thinking that this house on the side may be the old sergeant's house um, it doesn't exactly say what it is now so I reckon it's still part of the police idea um, in, in some way um, but yeah it's it's cool isn't it it, it is cool um, doesn't look like they've made it into sort of flats or anything 
Um, down there. Oh my God, look at all that down there. Uh, so I'm just gonna see if I can have a sneaky peek round the back. Um, it might. I don't. I'm not sure what it is now. Um, might be just that sort of flat. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it's been made into flats. That's what I'm saying. So I'm wondering whether they still own it and they still use it for bits and bobs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but Julianne just pointed out that just down here would be the old cells um not sure whether i can get a sneaky peek in there guys i think it might be just a little bit too dark for us to get a look in um but yeah they are guys police um i reckon they still use it for some form of purpose uh, but yeah that's what i would think is the old sergeant's house here number one there's a camera you video me i video you um yeah well there you go anyway guys so guys this isn't all not this is an in ordinary shop um hat shop you don't see many of them do you having a good day aren't we look Don't see, don't see that every day, do you? The Panama, the Panama hat. AKA. Oh, the twat hat. Uh, yeah, that's cool, I like that, I like that. Guys, we are heading for the Butter Market. Is it called? Butter Market, yeah. Butter Market, here in Leek. Uh, we have been here before, but we've never videoed. The Curiosity Shop. Oh. Ooh! Butter market. There you go, guys. Look, oh, Toby jugs. Toby jugs. All sorts of wares and whatnot. Let's go through the door. Wrong one. Okay, there right you go. There. there you go. And here we are in the butter market. What have we got? up there um, let's just go and take a look up there some lovely shops around here guys yeah fantastic shops there you go cool isn't it oh yeah look at that nice isn't it um, yeah nice old clock up there We've got a bit of fish there Smoky. Very oldy worldy, isn't it? I love it. But when we make the comparison from here to where other places where we've been, this probably is much better, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I've seen, don't you? Yeah, I know what you've seen. You know what I've seen. She's seen the birch witch guys. Look at that. Wee. Julianne will be back here visiting that little store where I know she will <laughs> nice. look like a little jewelers there bags um, carpets um, and stuff for knitting and things like that um, not a very big market but uh, it's not about the size of it is it it's the quality that's in there and that brings us out just here guys um, yeah there's a market here at the weekend um, I'm just gonna give you a few shots sort of around so we can see how nice this lovely little town is whoa look at that the bird in hand what a gorgeous um, place that is uh, leak bike solutions over there guys it is pretty pricey in there I have been in but uh, you know bikes these days are pricey um, but look at that there oh yes that is a gorgeous pub that's called the beard in hand yes you can just tell how old it is can't you guys I mean look it's all that down there and here we are as Charlie Chaplin 
standing outside Chaplin's. Um, probably very expensive in there. Um, you get what you pay for, don't you? We've been in there, that's expensive in there, isn't it? Yeah, nice stuff. Um, it's nice stuff, but it's expensive, guys. Uh, the dog shop, oh. Yeah, that's a charity shop, I think. Uh, we got the black swan here. Plenty of places to have a drink, which is good. Hi, you alright? I've watched the lovely man video over on YouTube. So, guys, the chap just up there with his wife has just asked us uh, what his channel name was because he watches a lot of YouTube. You know what? It is good to see older generations getting down with it on watching YouTube. I love that. I really do love that. So as we head up this street here, guys, I don't, I'm not sure if this pub is still a pub, whether it's closed down, but it is the Wilkes Head. Um, I don't think it is sort of in action anymore, which is a shame. Look, it just, you know, you can just see how it's all built and the history and I bet there's some ghosts around here, you know. Oh, yes. Uh, we have a workman's shop. All well, your high vis in. Money shot, money shot, money shot, money shot. So we've got the green dragon here, guys. Oh, my God. This is a gorgeous pub. Um, I think they've probably done it up a little bit. I can smell log fire. Modernised it. Um, but it's definitely another old building. Um, yeah, definitely worth a visit in there. I'll tell you what, you'd have a good night out. It's an actual weather spoons. <laughs> How did we not know that it was a weather spoons? Julianne's just pointed that out just there. It's actually a weather spoons, guys. Well, you know, Summit, the more vlogging we do, the, and the more town centres we go, the more I've realised that weather spoons are all in the old buildings. Yeah, they are. And uh, yeah, but another thing I want to show you guys is look at that building over there. You can tell how old that is. That is that is more than hundred years old. Look how crooked the windows are and stuff. But and just there, we've got another church, guys. Another old church, and we've got like um, what to call them? A cenotaph. Um, I don't actually know what this sort of church is called. Um, but it's nice and we see if we go down that way if we turn left we go to Macclesfield and Manchester you know what guys I've just noticed this phone box and I thought to myself this is a damn good use of a phone box um, so it's got a defibrillator in now um, is it locked? oh no Ooh. so isn't that a really good way of using these old phone boxes I think that is absolutely great They are Vintage Market, Leak Market Square. Every Saturday, guys, Vintage Market. Hey, are guys, a bit more lovely, bit of architecture here for you. Um, I think it was called the Engine Room, and then it was called Society. Now I don't think it's nothing. I'm pretty sure it might have been the old fire station, uh, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, some more lovely bit of architecture for you there. So guys, we're at Leek um, District, uh, Staffordshire Moorlands District, District Council. I will get my words out. Reception. Um, oh, this is a very different look, looking um, District Council. Uh, let's go and have a look around. Uh, so we got the Council Chamber and Meeting Rooms. Um, just see in there. Um, some stuff yeah let me follow it round there's Julianne again hello hi you're getting in plenty of shots today aren't you getting in the way no you're not getting in the way <laughs> the reception just this way um, main reception um, do I go in guys I feel like Behind the scenes, you're telling me to go in. Um, 
shall we go and see what it's all about in here? Um, nice. Very quiet. There we are. We can see that screen there, guys. Naughty, naughty. Um, CCTV. There we go. Um, some computers here. Is this for? Um, so I assume it's to pay your council tax. Uh, pay by phone. Climate change action. Plenty of cameras in here. Um, waiting area. Uh, let's have a look around here. No one's told me not allowed yet, guys. Um, I don't know what's up there. Oh, the library's up there. Uh, the lift's out of order. Um, No public Wi-Fi in here, guys. It's a, it's a nice building, isn't it? It's quiet. So we've got Staffordshire Moorlands District Council, Adult Social Care, Families First and Independent Future, Citizens Advice, Registrar and Waiting Room, Library and Tourist Information. Um, yeah. See uh, the information they've got on there. Could do with being a bit tidier, a bit better. Um, but yeah, there was the council anyway, guys. Julianne's getting in my shot again. Do you tell you what, you want to get on camera today, don't you? Yeah, I want a picture of that. We've got a nice little, uh, that I think this is a fountain. Yeah, it's a fountain. Um, but obviously it's not turned on. Um, so there you go, as you can see there, guys. They keep the grounds nice and clean around here. Um, yeah. Yes, guys. It's a, uh, it's a nice, uh, nice council. Wes is, really is. Hi, you're right. Hi, yes, thank you. Yeah. We got CCTV in operation. Let's just go see what these signs say. Um, a reception hours, 9:30 till 3:30 p.m. Um, there you go, don't know what's up there. I think that's got something to do with the NHS guys, so I think I'll stay away from there, um, to be honest with you. Don't want to mither the NHS, we know they do a good job for us, don't you? Um, yeah, so what I'm trying to do guys is show you that, I can see that woman's screen right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it clearly with my eyes, which is another, I can also see it on a phone. Um, and all the paperwork now obviously you got to put your bikes and stuff in there and you're gonna well you're not allowed to smoke in there but you're gonna put your as you're parking up your bikes you're gonna see what she's doing there on the paperwork so i reckon that's a very small gdpr leak right there for you do you fancy sitting down on a cock oh well, there you go guys only in leak so we're at leak town council and this was erected in 1856. Don't know who that was, but I'll put my thumb up to him anyway. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to go in there. I don't think we are. I don't think it's sort of open. Radio Stoke, eh? Radio Stoke. I don't think we're sort of allowed in there. Um, I could possibly go and walk in, but I think, to be fair, it's probably more like appointments only. Um, Oh yeah, some information there. Um, so guys, um, that's it from us from Round Leak. Um, we've had a lovely walk around. Um, it's, it's been absolutely beautiful. Um, I definitely recommend you have a, a visit to Leak. Um, plenty of shops, plenty of different shops. Quirky places. Quirky places, market places. People have been friendly to us as we've been walking around. A um, couple of people have um, recognised us. You just had a um, Yeah, a couple of people have recognised us, so, uh, you know, uh, we're getting out there, we're getting about, aren't we? <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, don't forget, 
to uh, give this video a like if you've liked it um, don't forget to hit the bell uh, so you can be the first ones to be notified of our next video um, so uh, thanks for watching guys and we will see you on the next one